today we're talking about sugar serum in a nutshell. So we're just going to give you a quick overview of the sugar serum system, its capabilities, what it can do for your company as far as uh, sales marketing, uh, and just basically as a database storage system. So with that, uh, we're going to jump into it here. Here you can see this is sugar serum open here. Um, it is a cloud system. Now it can be also um, on premise. You can also have it, you know, save the software on on premise on your computer. But we have it hosted on uh, Sugar's cloud, and this is um, it's open here in Google Chrome. So right here, we're looking at the dashboard of the system. So this is a dashboard. Now the dashboard can be broken out um, differently for every user. Right here, we're logged in as the marketing department, as you can see up here. Um, but if we were a sales user. Um, the sales user would see a different dashboard. If you were, um, you know, an executive or a manager, the manager would have a different dashboard. So right here we see all things that relate to or pertain to uh, the marketing user. So here's reports and stuff that kind of relate to marketing, uh, leads by campaign marketing report. Uh, the sugar dashboard you can see here is broken into what's called dashlets. Now these dashlets are drag and drop. I can drag this over here if I want. Um, and I can put as many dashlets that I want on this page that I want, and these dashlets can be broken out into tabs for sales or marketing. I can add tabs, remove tabs if I want to from up here. I can also change this layout to be three columns, two columns, or just one solid column. And I can also, as I said, add dashlets if I want to from here. So. I can add dashlets from any of the modules that I have in my sugar system to display information, um, such as there's an SEO module under here, so even custom modules that you build. Um, this module didn't previously exist, this one down here, so I can even drag those in, he in here. Any of your reports that you create, uh, such as this leads by campaign, is a custom report we built. We can drag those under here under charts. Um, any tools. You can put um, a little notepad in there, or if you want just a website, a uh, sort of an iframe of a website page to display on your dashboard. Uh, perhaps if you want your company website to display, you would just put the URL for that right in there, and then that would display right on your dashboard as well. So you can really put anything, any piece of data that is in your sugar system, um, you can add somewhere onto your dashboard so you can just get a quick glimpse of everything that's going on you know, at your company that you need to know that's relevant to you. The Sugar Dashboard is a great way for users uh, to get all the information they're looking for right from the home screen. And for managers, they can view all of their executive reports from one tab, drill down into them, and make accurate forecasts on sales data. Uh, for sales reps, they can view all opportunities in their pipeline, along with a list of their upcoming calls, meetings, tasks, etc. Uh, it's really good just, you know, for any unique user to be able to see exactly what they want to in the system. So we're going to move into accounts here and start start really drilling into the Sugar CRM system. So all of these modules have a search option on them. Now this is what you're seeing right here is an advanced search. And you can build as many fields as you want to that are in the module into the advanced search, or you can remove fields from the advanced search. If you don't want to see this advanced search, you can just collapse it by hitting the basic search up there. Uh, but we're going to open the advanced search so that we can um, filter for maybe uh, an exact company that we're looking for. Uh, you can type their name in here. A lot, a lot of these, like ERP Partner VAR, were custom fields that we built into the system. Um, ERP products, obviously, those, those aren't out-of-the-box fields. Um, but as you can see, any, any custom field that you put into your modules, you can also build into your reports, advanced search, uh, so forth. So maybe we want to search on all of our customers. So we go under account type, click customers. Then maybe own our anytime collect product. Then here's just a little list of them right here. Say we want to open an account, Churchill Classics. So here's their record right here. And you can see this is just like a lot of other CRM systems. Obviously, there's a place for phone, fax, address, um, you know, all of that information. Uh, what's different from a lot of CRM systems is you can see things such as 
you click on this Maps tab right here, and it actually um, displays Google Maps location of uh, where the company is located. Uh, there's a more information tab um, that brings in such things as their industry, their SIC code, employee number, and this information such as employee number, uh, SIC code industry can actually be pulled from inside view which comes out of the box with uh, Sugar CRM. So uh, inside view is sort of like a uh, Hoover's or it's just like a, uh, it's a company database that looks up you know, comp company information and uh, organizational information about companies such as uh, revenue size, number of employees, and so forth. And you can import this information uh, directly into your Sugar CRM up there. So that's a pretty neat tool that comes out of the box with Sugar. Now, a lot of these modules also have sub-panels such as these. So you can see all upcoming activities, which things that haven't happened yet that are planned, uh, Sugar calls these activities. So these are all, all of our activities that are coming up with Churchill Classics. And then you can also see a history of everything, every communication, every email, phone call that has been logged. You can see here under your history. You can also see right from here all the contacts associated with that organization, um, all the opportunities that you might have in the pipeline with uh, that organization or account. Also, any quotes attached to them, campaigns that you're working on with that organization, leads, member organizations, uh, contracts, so forth. All that is stored under here in the subpanels. Uh, similarly, contacts really kind of operates uh, the same way that accounts does. Um, it has the advanced search up here. You can filter on any of the segments within this module. Let's pull this one up just so you can kind of have a look. Uh, now, a few of these fields, I mean, such as, you know, send Christmas card. These are things that we built ourselves, again, and don't really come out of the box with sugar. But um, building modules is really effortless. I mean, a send Christmas e-card, um, you know, something like that's done in like a minute. So there's maps more information, portal information, just like accounts built into sub-panels and has all, you know, all upcoming activities and all history that's happened with that contact. It's all right there. So, now we'll go to campaigns here. So we track all of our uh, blast email campaigns in this module. So let's open one and show you the analytics on it because with a lot of the third-party email campaign integrations such as we use Inbox 25 as you can see up here, um, all the analytics information actually gets imported directly into the campaigns module after the email blast sends. So this is a record of an email blast that we send out that's actually created in Sugar after the email blast sends. And a lot of the uh, third-party email integrations do this. It's not just unique to Inbox 25. Um, so you can see, you know, it was an email. Um, it was to our anytime division to our company because we operate three divisions. Here are the products that we promoted in this email. Here are the links that were in that email. And then if we want to see the analytics on this email, we go to view status. So from here we can see how many people this um, email was sent to. We can see how many it bounced from, who clicked through links in this email, who opted out of communications, which when somebody opts out from a communication will automatically take them off the list so that they won't get any emails in the future. And uh, we can see we have 119 people who actually viewed the message. Um, and you can click on any of these and it drills down more into the information. Like let's say we want to see who clicked click the link in the email that we sent out. We click that and we get down to here. We can see all the people um, in their emails that click the link within our email, what time and date they click the link, and then exactly what link in that email we clicked. Uh, you know, this was an email to promote some webinars and uh, news content, you know, that we send out once a week. So we can see what people at what companies are clicking what links and, you know, are interested in what things uh, 
in our communications, which is really helpful to have. So that's just one aspect of the campaigns module. Uh, you know, is tracking email campaigns and stuff like that. But also, um, it's a great place to track things such as contact forms. So all of our contact forms are top under the uh, tied to contact form. Now, Sugar provides out of the box a um, their own web to lead forms. So if you hover over campaigns, you can see create lead form as an option here. And this ties information directly under the campaigns module, similar to the um, similar to the email campaigns. So here's all of our uh, forms that we have on our website, our calls to action that are tied to contact forms. So we can click on one of these to drill into it, and we can see, you know, the name. This is a white paper. Uh, you can store a link in here. So if we want to see, you know, if we want to reference this, uh, this contact form, we want to put this contact form somewhere else, this is a great place to just store that link so that we can promote this link in several places. And, you know, here's a contact form right there. So now let's move to the opportunities module. Here's the opportunities module here, and we'll create an opportunity. So here's the dashboard. So here's the area for uh, opportunities right here. And you would pick an account name to tie into that opportunity if you're working with an account. Uh, it's just as easily as selecting this arrow right here. And then you can search on that account and pull them in right from here. That pulls them in. Opportunity amount, say it's $42,000. Uh, again, a lot of this is pretty standard. Uh, what is pretty cool, though, is if you go under sales stage, um, and you can say maybe you're in the lead stage, um, which you, know, you might not be using these sales stages. You can build in any sales stage that you want. Uh, we happen to use the lead, nurture, prospecting, discovery, etc. But no matter what sales stage you use, you can put that in here. And then let's say that if it's in a lead stage, there's only a 1% probability that that will actually close. So then you'll see a forecast here. It'll multiply that 1% against the um, 42,000 amount of the opportunity. And you can see that it's forecasted maybe at a $420 um, uh, forecast so far and then you can um, you know put all those into one forecast report so you can actually pretty accurately forecast uh, how much you're going to close at the end of maybe a quarter so if I change to nurture that moves up to five percent and then you can see that that number changes here and so forth it increases you know as you go through the sales stages uh, this place here for competition the source where that opportunity came from. So now I'll show you reports and how the reports module works. So here's reports. I'll just show you. You can build a row, simple rows and columns report, which is just like a uh, you know, simple report, you can just export, export it uh, directly into Excel. Um, you can also have your charts and graphs, which get a little more in-depth, um, which is a summation report, and then you can do a summation report with details so that you can drill into that uh, funnel or bar graph or line graph or whatever you build, and, you know, really see the details of that report. So any of these reports can be built off of any module within your CRM. So you want to build one off of contacts. Um, and then this displays, you know, any field that you would want to filter on with your contacts, uh, any relationships, so maybe contacts and an account. Um, you click on the account, and then here's all the fields within the accounts module. Um, has the and or and or capabilities to switch back and forth. So. 
so you can really pull you know any information that you have in your system out of that system uh, with your reporting module here now with sugar um, you don't necessarily have to use all of these out-of-the-box modules. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to build a module from scratch if you want to. Um, we built this passwords module, for instance, up here. Um, this was a module we completely created from scratch ourselves, and it probably took no longer than 20 minutes to create and import all of the data into. Uh, we did this with no prior training with uh, building sugar modules at all, and this was our very first one. So this is just a place where you know we can store our usernames and passwords and stuff like that. Because before we were just keeping it in an Excel document, it was kind of clunky. It was really hard to get the information that we wanted to. Where in Sugar, it's as easy as just you know searching on a name or maybe just looking for all of our directories if we wanted to. We could just search on those all from there. It was much easier than maintaining it all in a spreadsheet. And like I said, this module you know took absolutely no time to throw together. Uh, we had no prior experience with, uh, you know, sugar development or anything like that. It was all quite simple. So there's there's a lot of modules that I won't really go into right now in Sugar CRM. You can see there's a projects module, uh, there's quoting, emails module, contracts, and you can build or subtract as many modules that you want from the system. Uh, there's also a search bar up here. So if you just want to grab quick information from the system. You can just type a snippet in here, and it will pull up everywhere in the system where that's located. Uh, you can see that there's a record in the documents module, contacts, accounts, so forth. And then you can just click onto them uh, straight from here. So for how simple Sugar is to navigate, customize, and use, uh, it is a very robust system. It's a perfect tool for automating your sales, marketing, and business processes. Uh, you know, from one really compact solution. Uh, if you're interested in taking a trial of Sugar CRM, you can go to our website, which is e2benterprise.com. And then on the right side here, if you click on the more info and just click on the Sugar CRM trial, you can take a trial right there. It's a free seven day trial and uh, really shows you the ins and outs of the system. You know, if you're really interested to take the next step and learn a lot more. So I want to thank you for coming out to today's Lunch Bite, and uh, have a great day.